Do you want to sound like an English learner or like an English speaker? If you want to sound like an English speaker, do not mispronounce these words. Welcome to our global classroom. Before we start today's lesson, please remember to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy practicing and improving your English. Today we're talking about 12 words that are commonly mispronounced by English language learners. Many people get these words wrong, but if you learn how to say them correctly, you will automatically sound a lot more like a native English speaker. So let's begin. Here's number one. Say this word out loud. How did you say it? Sometimes English learners say answer, but in this case the W is silent. So don't worry about the W, don't think about the W, just pretend it's not there. And you would say the word like this. Say it with me. Answer. Answer. See? Easy. You just don't say the W. Number two is that. And this word is similar because it also has another silent letter, B. So yes, the B is there and we can't get rid of it, but we don't have to say it. Okay, so say it with me. Debt. Debt. See? It's easy. Number three, receipt. This is another word in which silent letters get learners in trouble. When we say this word, we don't hear the P. So say it with me. Receipt. Receipt. Number four, and this is a difficult one, recipe. So many English learners get this one wrong. I think it's because of the word stress. I've heard the word receipt many times, but we actually pronounce it recipe. Let's say it together. Recipe. Recipe. Done. Number five. Comfortable. It's not comfortable, but comfortable. Say it with me. Comfortable. Comfortable. Good job. Number six. Hierarchy. This is a word that I had trouble with when I was learning English, so I understand if you think it's difficult to pronounce. The way I was saying it, which is wrong, is hierarchy. So it's not hierarchy, it's hierarchy. Say with me. Hierarchy. Hierarchy. Good. Number seven, sweet. This is another challenging word for English learners because it looks kind of like suit, like the suit you wear, but it's not. It's a room. It's a suite. Let's say it together. Sweet. Sweet. Wonderful. Number eight. Colonel. This word completely baffled me when I was learning English. There's an R sound, but there's no letter R. What? So even though it's spelled with an L, we pronounce the first L like an R. Colonel. Okay, now say it with me. Colonel. Colonel. See, now you're even better than I was. Number nine, Wednesday. I know we're going down this list and you're probably thinking English is strange. And you're right, sometimes the spelling just doesn't match with the pronunciation. Here's another example. In Wednesday, the D is silent. So just don't say it at all. Practice with me. Wednesday. Wednesday. Number 10. Salmon. To be perfectly honest, this is another word I was guilty of mispronouncing when I first moved to the US. I'd say, I love salmon. Salmon is great. Uh, yeah, you wanna? Salmon is great. Okay, so now you say it with me. Salmon. Salmon. Good job. 
And now I'm, I'm hungry. Number 11, glamour. I hear this word mispronounced quite often when girls talk fashion. They say glamour, but it's not. It's glamour. Say it with me. Glamour. Glamour. Now you know. Number 12, chocolate. This is my favorite word in the world, so we should all pronounce it correctly. It's not chocolate or chocolate, it's chocolate. You don't pronounce the O in the middle of the word. Chocolate. Say it with me. Chocolate. Chocolate. Okay, now I'm really hungry. Now, let's practice saying these words. But we're going to practice saying them in context. I will show you some sentences using these words. And I want you to read them aloud. Ready? Here we go. Our hotel suite is very comfortable. She wrote the recipe on the back of the receipt. The colonel won't answer my calls. That's it for today. Wonderful job. Make sure you keep practicing those words so you can say them perfectly every time. You can also check out our social media classes which will help you practice and improve your English. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.